92 out of 99 strength. I need to get that to 99 as soon as I can. The way I need to do that is by killing gangs. However, I don't have enough cannonballs to get all the intelligence that I need from those gangs. So, I need to make a lot more. Right now, I only have 586 steel bars. It is going to take a long time to get the cannonballs that I need. I need 50,000 more in order to achieve my goals here. So, let's get going. Boom. 87 is well worth it about 17,000 steel bars. I've got to turn all these into cannonballs. That is so much time Let me see exactly how much 116,000 seconds 32 hours Whew. All right, wish me luck 30 hours later, and I hit 60,000 cannonballs I also got 88 smithing on the way not bad next I decided it was time to be going for some raids I'm going to be training my strength up later. For now, it's just time to focus on trying to get the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, the Dragon Claws, and the Dragon Sword, and pretty much any other thing that I can use would be really nice to get. Twisted Buckler for Verdux, or Verdu, I don't know. 24.5k points out of 11 people. That's insane. Like, how many points that is for being a skiller? Oh my gosh, that's actually crazy. I ain't running through that whole raid. The first loot of the video, let's go. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Pretty useful. Smithing, construction, pretty good. Raid number 83, I got 18,000 points for a total of 118,000. There were eight people in this raid, so I've been kicking ass with the points lately. All right, is this loot worth 18,000 points? Yes, it is! Beautiful! Another lot of pure essence. We just got 11,000 in the last video, so... Oh, yes, beautiful. 77 room crafting. Draws ever closer. 14-man raid going, but it scaled to 15, actually. Someone left. That is really good for me. The more people, the better. However, this is really bad. Hunter isn't first. Fishing is... And Hunter is so much better than fishing. Yeah. I don't know how many points I'm going to get in this raid, but I'm thinking it's not going to be that many. Give me a Nox of Fire, finally. Jeez. And only one as well. What the hell is going on? Oh, I got like... Ugh. Frustrating. Yikes. Oh my gosh. 15... <laughs> used to be 15-man team. Uh, a lot of people died, to say the least. We used to be at 200k points. And yeah, this is horrible. It's really, really bad, but it's not horrible if we do get an item, because it will uh, most likely be in my name, which would be six. What? No way! Oh my gosh! No way! Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm balling, baby! Look at that! The dragon sword, the first raid back. Oh my gosh, the first raid back, baby. Look at that. The most scuffed raid ever. <laughs> About an hour's time. Oh, I cannot get a hold of the Dragon Scimitar, so that is sick. I was I was going pretty hard that raid. 34k points, and um Yeah, the the, the my team, they yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just happy to see that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That's so sick. What is my raids, KC, man? 84. Two items? We'll get about... Oh, my gosh. I'm just... Oh, look at this. Well, obviously, I can't wield that, but yeah. Oh, man. Hell yeah. I'm a raids boy now. If I want to equip the Dragon Scimitar, I have to complete Monkey Minus 1, which I have pretty much done. All I have to do is kill the Jungle Demon, and that is just a quick cannoning it doesn't take too long. However, if I finish Monkey Madness, then I can't access Ape Atoll anymore because Purists aren't allowed to go back there. Also, I wouldn't be able to access Crash Island, which is also a popular place for Clue Scrolls. Hard, Elite, and Master Clue Scrolls, some of their steps require you to go to Ape Atoll or Crash Island. So if I complete Monkey Madness, then I won't be able to access that anymore, and I'll have to drop every single Clue Scroll I get that requires me to go there. So, I'm not completing Monkey Madness 1 anytime soon. The Dragon Sword is a great alternative to the Dragon Scimitar. It's only 3 less strength bonus. I'm strong. Yes. Now, I think this combo might be slightly better in terms of DPS. 
However, it is lower accuracy, and also it's not just a singular item. Whereas with this, I could go out and actually attack people with it, and use the special attack. I think it's pretty powerful. Yeah, the damage increases by 40%, so it's not like the Dragon Warhammer, but it's a lot faster than the Dragon Warhammer, so it might actually be worth using at some points. Two items in 84 KC, that is not bad at all. There are high hopes for getting claws at some point on this account. I'm gonna keep trying. And Bat's first room? Yes! Oh, that's so good. Hell yeah. Oh man. Nothing from Raid 85, but 19k points in 30 minutes is actually really good. I got 34k in an hour last time, and that was like a ridiculous raid that was super scaled, so I'm really happy with these points actually. 12 man teams might be the perfect amount for me. Diamonds are worthless, but the Avantos, nice Herblor XP. Oh, I'm capped. Yeah, there we go. I'm capped out. Let's see. I could probably help out my team and finish the raid for them. Come on, baby. Come on, give me something juicy. No, big whole lot of nothing. Two of them have been mine, so. I think I might be quite lucky. Hey, look at that. Lots of myth ore for darts. So, yeah, definitely worth having. Where's the demon? Oh, it probably doesn't render that far away. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Wait, you could still put stuff in? Oh, it takes so long. I didn't realize that. Jeez. Nothing for raid number 87, but I did get quite a few points. So whatever resource we get could be quite plentiful and very helpful. I hope it's uh, herb lore, actually, because I do not need any more pure essence. I have all of that banked. And yeah, herb lore would be sick. So let's go for some herbs. Wow, that's a... Two raids ago, I got something really special. So uh, we'll, we'll just... uh that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, the first shortcut I actually get to take advantage of with my new 96 wood. I got that a few episodes ago, but yeah, 96 wood cutting here. 8.25k points already, and I haven't even started bats, so I'm really happy with how many herb points and points I get from this. All right, we've got lots of points, uh, so I'm happy with this. 12 man teams seem to be really good for me. I don't seem to cap with bats very easily. And the raid is complete. 21,000 points, just about. 40 minutes, raid at number 88, 36k points somebody got. That's insane. Oh man, I'm jealous of that. Wish I could get that in such short raids, but I don't really have the time to do that. Like, it's just quorums, sapphires, that's pretty good. Except, you know, the sapphires aren't that good. I already have 99 crafting, but the quorums, pretty good for herblore. And strength potions. Super strength potions, very much needed on this account. 10 person raid, I should be able to cap bats pretty easily. I have 8.3k points just from herb lore and doing that mining uh, ops goal that I did. So going really well so far and they haven't, you know, we just got to prep so they haven't even got to Ulm and anything. I just started hunting bats. I hope to get like 22,000 points this raid. That would be sick. Dragon throne axes for Turkish Tebow. Oh my gosh. That's a really bad loot. <laughs> Re indeed. Wow. 45 minutes as well. That's a pretty scuffed read, I gotta say. Damn. But hey, I did get, I, I hit 22k. Look at that. Wow. I guessed it. Whew. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's see what I get from the chest today. Again, I think I just want herb, herb stuff, you know, herb supplies. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. I will not complain. Thank you very much. I do not remember ever seeing a skilling room being the very first room, or at least the bat room being the very first. I Maybe I'm just a newbie raider. I don't have a lot of KC, so yeah, but this is sick. The very first room. I'm definitely going to get a lot of points from this. 15,000 points. They haven't even gotten to Ulm. I got like 12k from Herblore alone, so this raid is going phenomenally. Yeah, everything's going pretty well, so I'm happy with this. If I pull an item, Hell yeah. By the way, 18 man team right now, and I have like a tenth of the points. <laughs> a ninth of the points. Arcane prayer scroll for me. All right, the first prayer scroll. <laughs> grats, yeah, the grats. Oh man. I had one eighth the points, and there's 18 people. I did very, very well that raid. I will take that. I mean, it's my first scroll. Um, <laughs> all right, there we go. That's the first uh, scroll on the account. 
and uh, I'm not going to read it. I'd rather just keep it in my bank for now. But yeah, I did get so many points that raid. I wish it was something else, but you can't really expect uh, any, you know. There's like a half chance to get one of these prayer scrolls, so can't get a dragon item every time, you know. Are we going to pull three raids items in one video? Maybe. Let's try. Wow, I just got here and I'm just in time to dump. That's a lot of points. I'm liking it. Using two fires at once is good luck. You declaws this raid, 100%. Oh man. Yeah, 25k points. I had about 1 11th of the points this time. I think there was like, yeah, 16 to 18 people in total. So yeah, I'm doing really well the last couple raids. Let's see what I get from the chest. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's not too good. I wish the saltpeter was dynamite. Come on. Ooh. This should end soon. I think I'll probably end up with like 22, 23,000 points total. Um, which could very well be like a sixth of the total points by the time they finish Ulm. All right. They've pretty much just finished prep. Now they're going down to Ulm. And yeah, right now I just pretty much AFK at this point, uh, which I have no complaints about. So yeah, I have a quarter of the points, a little more than that. And there are 10 people. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, apparently 10 people is just a little too few for me to ca like actually get a lot of points from because I capped points, which, you know, sounds like a good thing, but uh, it just means that I'm going to have less points than I would have if there were more people. Hopefully I can like score 12 man raids in the future. I think that's like a perfect middle ground. And I hit 23,000 points and one more choppity chop. And... Wow, dynamite and mithril ore. Oh, that is so good. Hell yes. Lots of mining XP and smithing XP. I'll take it. Oh, darn. And what loot? Oh, well, it's like 300k cash, actually. Nobody's taking the shortcut with me. Oh, this is going to be hella points. Hunter first as well. 16 man team. Oh, this is going to be a sick raid. Lots and lots of points coming. So my highest record was 34,000 points. And that was because the raid took an hour. My team, they weren't having their best of days. But this raid, 31,000 points. And we're uh, actually, yeah, the time is actually still pretty bad. But I think I did pretty well this raid. So I'm happy about that. Hopefully I can pull an item. Uh, again, 13 people, and I have like a seventh of the points right now, so that's pretty crazy. 35.2k points. That is my record. In 47 minutes, that is not bad. Any light? No, no light. Oh, no. <laughs> Nobody got anything. Oh, man. 800 gold ore. That's pretty good for smithing XP. 2.5k rune arrows. Uh, hello, Dragon Throat Axe for Mr. Lumo. Not for me. I, I think this is a pretty scuffed raid for me. GG, Mr. Lumo. Anyway, let's see what I get from the chest today. More rune arrows and death runes for PK. A hey, raid number 96, 28k points about. 39 minute raid. Quite a long one there, but I did get quite a few points. Dynamite. Yes. Oh, beautiful for mining experiences. And some rune arrows as well. I don't know what I'll do with those. Probably sell them to some store. Some I've gotten those the last three raids. Come on, bruh. Elite Clue. You know what? I am very happy about that, actually, because, yeah, now I can try my hand at a Ranger's Tunic. So let's see if I can do the first step. I can. Beautiful. No. Yay. That's good. All right. Let's see. Crash Island. I can access that because I haven't completed Monkey Madness. Be Woo! Oh, it's a Ranger only. Sweet. All right. Yes. Fall to the ground. No Armadillo Cross. Oh, wait. No, you can only get a helmet from those guys. <gasps> Let's see. Uh, a shark. Woo! Yeah. Let's see the next step. Ghostly bones. Kill an Anku. Boom, baby. Look at that. Dragon necklace. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But um, at least I completed an elite. That was really quick. Oh, 98. All right, I'll take it. 23,000 points, and we had 11 people in this raid. I haven't been performing as well as I had been previously, but it is a 32-minute raid, and the raid where I got my PB, 35K, that was like 47 minutes long, so I can't really blame myself for that one. All right, and the lootations from raid number 98. Ooh, silver ore. I could definitely use that for some uh, silver jewelry. 
And some rubies for strength amulet. That's pretty sick. All right, go in the bank. I'll deal with you later. There we go. All right, what do we pull? Uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. Next raid, let's go. Okay, stop that. Ooh, all right, raid number 100. Wow. It's been a long time that I've been raiding, and we've seen three items in 100 raids. Ooh, elite clue. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get as many points as I wanted, but hey, maybe I'll have just as fast as an elite clue as I had last time. I came across some difficulty in finishing that elite clue, so it will be resumed in the next episode. In this episode, I made 60,000 cannonballs, got the dragon sword and the arcane prayer scroll, and also hit the achievement of completing 100 raids. Next episode, I look forward to using those cannonballs I made to train my strength up to 99. That's all for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.